What is going on guys, this is Prodigy, and welcome to episode number two of whatever I'm gonna call this Battlegrounds series. But today we're gonna be talking about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, obviously, as you can see on the screen. And as you guys know, if you're an avid player of the game, within the last monthly update, they released exclusively first person only servers. So today, what I'm going to be talking about is the difference between third person and first person, which one I think is better, the different advantages and or disadvantages to both uh, play styles, I'll call them, and give you just an overview and see what you guys think of it. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So to start things off, we're going to be talking about third person. Now, this is the style that most everybody is most familiar with, as this is the game uh, or the style that most the game launched with. So this is naturally the one that most people have the most experience with. So in third person, we're going to talk about a couple of key features that are exclusive to third person, the first of which being the most obvious, and that is what we call the third person advantage. Now, if you're not familiar with the term third person advantage or what it means, it basically um, is, is kind of self-explanatory is the, the advantage given to a player exclusively because of the third person nature of the game. So let me just give you guys an example so you can get a better understanding of what it is. Say for example, uh, you're in the game in third person and you're hiding behind a wall or by the edge of a house or or it could be just a random object in the middle of a field like a rock or something. And you know somebody's in the area. In fact, you hear their footsteps, you hear them coming up on you, but they have no idea that you're there. However, because the game is in third person, you can see over that rock or see past that uh, or around the corner of that wall and see the person approaching, yet they have no idea that you're even there. And because they don't have that information that you're there, you have the advantage because they don't see you, but you see them. So while they're just running carefree, you have, are planning your, uh, basically planning your attack to kill them, and they have no idea what even happened. And that's basically the epitome of the third person advantage. It's basically just getting an edge on your opponent because you can see them, but they can't see you. Now this obviously works both ways. You know, you may get the advantage on somebody one time, and then you're probably the victim of it a lot of times as well. You know, all those times that you just died seemingly out of nowhere and you're wondering what happened? It's because that guy saw you, but you can see him. This alone is probably what turns a lot of people off from the game. Just because of the third person nature, a lot of people don't like it because it's not as quote unquote realistic, even though we're playing video games. People don't feel like it's fair, which is definitely a, um, a, a fair point. You know, it's questionable. Um, it's not the only third person game out there, but uh, I can definitely see how people would think that it's not fair. And so another thing about third person is that in my opinion, or just my experience playing the game, whenever I play in third person, it just seems you get a better view of the map or the area around you. Like you can just get a, a, a wider field of view, I guess naturally, uh, because you know the camera is positioned behind your character, so it just seems like you have a wider uh, sight line so you can get a, a a lot more things in your screen to see as opposed to being in first person. Now Battlegrounds has branded itself as more of a realistic game as opposed to the likes of say H1Z1. Uh, you know there's bullet drop, there's uh, very realistic guns, very realistic attachments, uh, very realistic gun sounds and things of that nature. You get where I'm going with this. But they brand themselves or they pride themselves on being a realistic game and because of what I mentioned about the third person advantage, a lot of people feel like the game should be played in first person only. Now, Player Unknown uh, heard these cries from these people and they actually released first person only servers, as I stated to you guys in the beginning. And a lot of people, including myself, are happy because they really enjoy uh, these servers or this the game style in first person. And so that's generally why people prefer a first person as opposed to third person for one it's far more realistic you know uh, you can only see in front of you and the limited uh, amount of vision to the beside and a little bit of behind you but you can't look completely around with alt and see 360 degrees because I mean come on unless you're some type of superhuman you can't turn your head on a 360 degree axis it's just not possible you can look from left to right but that's about it. You can't look completely behind you. Uh, there is no third person advantage because of this key point. You have to make yourself visible during gunfights 
in order for you to get a kill on somebody. So before in third person, just like the example I gave you before, you could see a guy while you were behind a rock or something and already have your plan of attack on when he approaches and before you even make yourself known or make yourself visible. However, in first person, in order to see somebody, you may hear their footsteps, but in order to see somebody and engage them, you have to make yourself visible. And once you do, unless the guy's just not looking, both of you will see each other at the same time. And at that point, whoever has the quickest reflexes or the best gun skill will win that fight ultimately. And so it's a lot more uh, level of a playing field. Whereas a uh, third person, you know, one person may have the advantage this time, the next person may have the advantage this time. And it's just a toss up, you know, in a lot of different gun fights because, you know, some people just may position themselves differently and put them at an advantage. And then sometimes they may succumb themselves to uh, being taken advantage of. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Not to mention, just in my opinion, the graphics in this game have improved uh, drastically since uh, the beginning of the early access release. It's still in early access and it's still far from finished, but they have made uh, significant improvements to the graphics and the overall frame rate and optimization of the game. Still uh, uh, ways to go, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. And when you're in first person, it really just immerses you in the game. You know, the grass looks great. Uh, you know, it really feels like you're out here on this island, you know, ready to duke it out for survival of the fittest. You know, it's really, it's really immersive and it's really engaging. And it just gives you that much more uh, intense feeling as just being thrown in the world because, you know, you feel less safe almost uh, now that I say it because you're uh, you're in first person, so you can't you look know, 360 degrees every angle at any given moment, and uh, you know be somewhat aware of your surroundings. Like you can be aware of your surroundings, but it's just a lot more work to do so, and because of that, it's a lot easier to you know get snuck up on if somebody uh, sees you from behind, or um, a lot easier to just get uh, get immersed in your surroundings. So I would say first person is a definitely a greater skill requirement in order to play it exclusively as opposed to third person. Not to say that third person doesn't require skill because this game in general requires a lot of skill because there's just so much going on and so much that you have to remember at all times, including the fact that there's gas that pushes everybody closer together. And first person just adds to that intensity by, you know, making it a far more immersive experience. So at the end of the day, whether you play first person or third person, you know, there are, there are key differences and similarities, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to your personal preference, obviously. You know, there's things that somebody may not like about third person that drives them to play first person exclusively. But, you know, at the end of the day, Battlegrounds is Battlegrounds. It's a very high-skilled game. Me, personally, I've been playing a lot of the first person servers. Uh, ever since they released. I really enjoy them and I probably will continue to enjoy them a little more than, than the third person. But the first person for me, I just love that immersive experience. I love feeling like I'm really in the combat as opposed to third person and then having to uh, deal with the third person advantage. And um, you know, that's just, that's just my thing. I understand that everybody's gonna like third per uh, first person, but um, I think that's going to be the way for me and my suggestion to you all, if you want a more immersive experience, a more hardcore experience, I'll even dare to say, then I would definitely say first person is the way to go. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try, see how you like it, see how it feels to you, and then make the decision, you know, whether you want to, you know, just go uh, stick with third person or whatever you want to give first person a try. The choice is all up to you. So. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, took away some useful information. If you did, I'd appreciate a like on the video or a subscription as well. That would be nice. But that's going to be it for now, guys. This is Prodigy, and thank you for listening.